It's just a regular day here at MetLife Stadium. It's the end of the event. There are 93,000 people in the crowd. It's packed. They're excited. The entire crowd is on their feet and they're swaying back and forth. Except there is not a sound in the stadium. As 93,000 people pray Arvit Mariv together. Can you imagine such an event? 93,000 Jewish people getting together to praise Hashem and to complete learning. How much learning was completed? I'm here at the 13th CM Hashas at MetLife Stadium along with 100,000 other people celebrating the completion of 2,711 pages of Talmud of Gemara. Okay, 2,711, that's the number of pages in Shas. When you do one page a day, it takes about seven years and five months. That's a long time, and that's how long we've been doing it. If you start Daf Yomi on your first day of middle school, you will not finish until you graduate. That's how much dedication and hard work it takes to finish the Daf. You have to work so tirelessly every single day to finally finish seven and a half years later. Imagine. If you were in the four-year-old preschool, when you started turning one page a day, you would complete turning all those pages after fifth grade. Learning one daf a day, daf yomi, would be learning one side and the other side of the page. It would take 2,711 days of turning one page at a time to complete the entire set. This is a dedication, a real challenging dedication to learn one page of Talmud a day. Baruch Hashem, I finished for a second time. And for us, think about what do we learn every day? The excitement of learning, not skipping a single day. Sure, when we come to school, it's easy. What about the days that we're home? Can we learn on those days? Of course we can. And we should celebrate it. That is the Siyum Hashas, the celebration of dedication to learn every single day. 2,711 days later, here we are at MetLife Stadium to celebrate the Siyum Hashas, the completion of all of Talmud, learning one page a day, just like we here learn every single day. So what is this 2,711 page set of books. It's called the Talmud, it's Gemara, and it includes much of Mishnah. Let's see if we can get a better understanding of how much that is by visiting our library, our media center, to see if we can find a full set of Shas, Mishnah, Gemara, and see what the inside of a page of Gemara looks like. This is a set of Mishnah. This is Talmud Bavli. A set of Gemara, which includes Mishnah, is written in Aramaic and has been learned for thousands of years. Here's the inside of a page of Gemara. It includes Mishnah. In the middle is the Talmud itself and commentaries on the side to help it become more understandable. Over the years, it has become harder to read languages such as Aramaic and therefore Art Scroll and others have set out to add English translations and explanations to make it easier to learn every single day. To complete 2,711 pages on a schedule, you need to learn one page dedicated every single day in order to complete all of shots. How big is this? This is huge! the Siyam Hashas made me think about something really cool. Men, women, boys, girls in the largest book club reading the biggest book together for so many years. How cool is that? I was at MetLife Stadium. I wasn't watching a football game. I was together with 92,000 Jews 
all celebrating a siyum on Gemara. Like you make a siyum on Chumash, we had a big siyum for the finishing of the Talmud, of the whole Talmud Bavli. It was simply amazing. Amazing! Imagine 92,000 Jews all screaming at the same time, Hashem Hu Elohim, Hashem Hu Elohim. But it's not just here. There is Torah celebration around the entire world celebrating this completion. Everyone was at the sea in Mashas. Everyone, even the governor of the state of New Jersey. And of course, how could you miss him? Waldo. Yup, where is Waldo? Was at the sea in Mashas. If you would like to find out more information, about Dafyomi, check out this book that we just got in the media center. It's called No Day Without Torah, and it's the story of the person who started this largest book club in the world, where everybody learns the same thing on the same day. Everywhere, in every part of the world, my brother in Australia is celebrating, my friends in Hawaii are celebrating, in Israel, in Lublin, Poland, where this was originally started 13 cycles ago. They first began learning one page of Talmud a day. It's being celebrated in the Beit Knesset of Rabbi Meir Shapiro, the founder of Daf Payomi, which literally means one page a day. The excitement of completing such a goal is unbelievable. And I was blessed to be present in the stadium during the Siam. I hope that all of us will find time to learn one thing a day one couple minutes a day and celebrate that all the time. Celebrate the dedication of constant learning and growth as we do here every single day. And hopefully one day you too will join us. The next Siyam Hashas will take place on the second day of Sivan just before Shavuot in seven and a half years. Hope to see you there.